And with the ongoing trial of a former union boss, prosecutors say Brian Ahacuelo used IBEW Local 1260 as his personal piggy bank. Ahacuelo and his family members are accused of an alleged vote rigging scheme to raise union dues. Manolo Morales has more from today's testimony. Ahacuelo, shown here wearing a brown jacket, was the former business manager at IBEW Local 1260. He and his wife Marilyn Ahacuelo and his sister-in-law Jennifer Estension face multiple charges which include conspiracy, money laundering, wire fraud and embezzlement. Prosecutors say they also rigged a vote with members in Guam to approve a proposal to raise union dues. In federal court on Wednesday, Kenneth Laguanya, a union representative from Guam, testified for the government. He said he was told by Estension to round up as many members in Guam to come to the union meeting on January 2015 to vote on the proposal to raise union dues. Laguana testified, I was told my job depended on the turnout. Laguana also testified that only the Hawaii union members will be affected by the raise in union dues, but he was told to not tell any of the Guam workers about it. Laguana told the court, I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. The feds say the vote rigging scheme also involved other union officials hiding in a car outside while the members voted, swapping real ballots for fake ones and tossing the originals in the trash in a park in Guam. Feds say the hike in dues raked in $3.7 million in just over a year. Also called to testify was Tammy Yamanoha, who was the senior administrator responsible for the intake of union dues. She said there were documents that showed her signature that were not hers. Her husband, Russell Yamanoha, is expected to testify for the government after he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor conspiracy charge related to the vote-rigging accusation. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.